Got the lead out, whether you're the new Michael Morcock. <laughs> um, just talk us through that, the last climb and uh, particularly the, the sprint itself. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to set up uh, Tadej for the stage. We knew if it came to like a small group, he, you know, he's pretty quick. So uh, we tried to keep things under control. It's not easy when uh, you know it's the last stage, the last mountain stage, and everyone, you know, everyone puts a hundred percent in. So uh, yeah, we used the whole team to to chase, and uh, yeah, in the final there, I managed to catch back up with Simon, and uh, he did, a, I think, a pretty good lead dog for for my capability. So uh, yeah, good day. Well, it's a perfect ending for a very good tour for you, isn't it? And also for today, did you think that he had that in him today? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, he's only, he only had one bad day and then in the end, uh, you know, it's not easy uh, to be at your best for three weeks. Um, and, it, you know, it's not just three weeks for, for him. It's, uh, it's a, lot, a lot of pressure for the whole year. You know, he starts good and he ends good. So um, for him to have one bad day out of the year, he's, uh, you know, pretty good record. So. I think we can we can come out of this pretty pretty happy and uh, yeah maybe next year we can go one better. And personally, what does this result for you? What does it mean for you to, to finish in the podium? Yeah, I mean for me personally, if, uh, third is the best result I've ever had in the Grand Tour. So uh, obviously I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I mean a little bit disappointment because we came here with the goal of getting yellow, but in the end, you know, there's only one guy better than us, so I'm happy. Um, you know, I didn't have any bad luck. I didn't have any uh, any sickness or anything like this, which is uh, the, the first time for a long time. So, uh, happy. Adam, this is the perfect bookend to the Tour de France. Uh, stage one for you, and now the final hard stage for Tade. Yeah, maybe tomorrow we go with uh, Matteo Trentin for the for the sprint, <laughs> and then maybe it will be perfect. But uh, nah, he's been a good tour, so uh, we're happy. How much do you think this will mean for Tade to pull off a win after his hardships? Yeah, I mean, even after uh, he lost a bit of time, you know, he's already in the bus. So now he wants to attack the next day and go full gas. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said before, it's not easy to be good every day. And uh, yeah, he's shown he's a true champion and uh, he'll be back from offshore. Thanks, Adam.